Finest 111 here, and welcome back to more Mega Man Maker. I'm still going through the stage. I can't exactly recall what name it was, though. And I'm coming up to a puzzle that I seem to be having some difficulties with. Because I don't have a weapon that can destroy one block at a time. But maybe if... But maybe if I could find another way... Is there another way? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so I can get this key, okay. Oh, wait, I can just shoot the... I think I can shoot these two top dust blocks and then I'll be able to... Oh, no, I won't be able to jump over... Oh, wait, uh... Oh, so the fire acts like a block to... The fire acts like a solid block so the two blocks can rest on top of it. I don't think that made a whole lot of sense when I said it, but you saw, so you can understand. Or did I just lose? Okay, it's with the solar thing that was given to me after that fireman battle. Um, and I get the crash bomb, too. I'll have to admit that I do like the crash bomb when... Yeah, I do like the sound the Crash Bomb makes when it explodes. It sounds a bit... I don't know if I would call it satisfying. For now, I'll just put it at, I just plain like it. Alright? I just plain do. How much does the Ice Slasher even... The Ice Slasher doesn't even do anything to Spark Man. So really, the Crash Bomb is my only way of going about this boss fight. And... I win! I can't believe that really was all there was to it, with this level. And I had to... And I ended this part at the 22 minute mark in my recording. Which, during that... Which, during that cutout that happened at the beginning, during the first level... I think it may have been... I don't know, about 20 minutes for you guys. Just wanted to set the record straight here. New level. Forests of the Keys. Level ID of 52, 31, 97, 2 plays, and a score of positive 1. And I said in the last part, too, that there might not have been enough time for people to play and rate these levels because they've just been published. Okay. I play as Mega Man. Get my trustworthy buster back. Oh, there's a key. I'm probably gonna need that. Quick in, quick out. Let's not waste my snakes on something stupid. They might be necessary for a boss fight. For all I might be aware of. Okay, this door calls for two, and I only have one, so... Let's see if there's another one down here. <sighs> well, that was easy. Bit easier than I would have liked. But oh well. The free key is a free key.
and there's a cave here. And I'm assuming those are bottomless pits that are going to kill me dead. Okay, things are going smooth so far. This one required only one key. Please do not tell me I am at the boss already. And I am. This does sound nice and all, being near bosses. Just being at bosses in levels as short as this. But, come on. I would like a normal challenge every now and again. Would I? And I said that me returning to Mega Man Maker was going to be so stressful in general. Okay. Sans that one time. Just that one time, I meant. Just that one time. And there we go. Woodman's down again. I could have used the snake on him. Could I have? I did not even think of that. Well, good level anyways. Now we're gonna move on. Once again, just like I've said in the last part, I'm gonna be skipping the Christmas-themed levels and moving on to the normal levels if I come across any. Needleman Doc Robot, but it is a good stage. 52, 31, 94, 10 plays, and a score of 1. Just positive 1. And it's Paradise City for those who want weapons other than the Mega Buster. Okay, so Needle Doc, but it is good. I wonder what could be so good about... I wonder how this... I wonder how this stage for Mega Man 3 could be improved. As this user puts it. Now, I'm not going to be going down these pits with electric floors to get back. Okay, gotta get out of the way of that. Well, thank you. Rush coil time. Only needed that for rush coil, and what's in here? Ah, it's just, uh, just two energy capsules for weapons. Nothing too interesting around here. Of course, if it, were, if it were actually something useful, then that would have been a different story. I know there's a... I know there's a door here, but if I can get to Rush Coil... Let's see what's up here. Oh, at first I thought it was something... There was something up there that... That could signify an alternate pathway. I can get something good. There's an empty room here. And there's the Crash Man Doc Robot. Or what would be the Crash Man Doc Robot. What could he possibly be weak to? Wow. I love that when I use the top spin on him. He just shoots Crash Bomb upwards. He doesn't even hit me. Sometimes. I can't 
charge. I can slide though, which is a plus. Okay, what weapon is he weak to? Okay, it's not the spark. It's not looking like the ninja. Oh, Magnum Man. Cool. Okay, so the magnet was what Crash Man was weak to. Okay. Because I would assume that the magnets would attract the bombs and get them away from me, possibly. more weapon energy. Still not very interesting, even though I've used some of my energy for the hard knuckle. And one other thing that I've kind of been thinking about while as I was playing through this level was that I've been remembering this one part in that one part in a video of when the Game Grumps played Mega Man 3, where Eren was was very ticked off about a level design feature where you have to use Rush Jet to get to an E-Tank or 1-Up. Yeah, I think it was a 1-Up. He didn't like where the 1-Up was placed, and and he said that you had to use some of the Rush Jet, but then you can't use Rush Jet if you get to it when you need it later. Something like that. Oh, gosh. So I would assume that that's why this level would be titled Needleman Dot, but it's good. I don't know what I'm saying here. Okay, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's how I roll, baby. Well, I can definitely see some improvements in this stage. You don't need Rush Jet to traverse through this thing, but you needed a platform that can move left and right. What's this? Photosynthesis Man. Two plays and zero score. I must hit back for some reason. Of course I want to play this level. Why would I not want to? So I'm gonna say that this is plant themed. Oh, there's this deadly fire. It's gonna be the death of me. And all the players. Well, playable characters at least. Good thing this oil wasn't set on fire. Well, I have a myriad of weapons that I can use throughout this level. Oh boy. That can get me an E-Tank, an M-Tank here at least. Okay, oh, boy. Okay, I gotta be careful with that spike right there, and boom. Go. Okay, I don't have an E-Tank, but I think... 
Yeah, I can use my plant energy to get me some more health. Yeah, this is working out nice. I think that should be good. Oop. One of the turrets. Two of the turrets. Oh boy. Okay, I'm at a checkpoint. Still loving that crash bomb sound effect. I can't hit that Ben K even though his spell even though his spear is frozen in motion. Technically. There's a very small window at which I can slide under his flying spear. Oh boy. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. What can I say? My question. Is this the boss? Pass this room. Okay, got that checkpoint at least. Just gonna drop just drop straight down to the boss. All a nation, man. He's not weak to the time slow. Uh oh. Not weak to the springs. Oh boy. Not weak to the oil. Okay, yeah, that just had to happen. At least I can try again here. With other weapons that may serve as possible weaknesses for Pollination Man. Oh, the Ice Slasher does a really good job against him. But not so much for this rotating head. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, okay. There we go. And from him I get the B weapon. And... And I just can't imagine how much damage Mega Man must be taking right now with that telly behind him. Well, good level. There might have been some improvements that could be made, but overall, I liked it. I don't know if Photosynthesis Man would be... Okay, so if Photosynthesis Man... Oh, Photosynthesis Man. Yeah. If Photosynthesis Man would be a real robot master, then what kind of attacks would he be? Would it be capable of using? I don't know. But I think it's best if I let you decide on that one. Alright. And I believe this is going to be it for this part. And I may be wrong, I may be right, but I don't think I've had to cut some parts of this episode out so you could get to where I last died. That's a good thing in, in itself. Uh, am I going to have time to record another episode? 
Okay, there's plenty of time, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop for the night. I want to get back into the routine of recording videos like this, since Thanksgiving has just passed, and... And there's still these levels from Jethawk that I have to play at some point, too. I don't know if they're going to be green screen or not, but I'm, undead I'm undoubtedly going to see if they are or not in the next part. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you. Bye!